wind blowing a little bit. Hopefully that won't affect it. I'm about to wait for a minute. It's gonna pop up. Let's see. I'm gonna share it right quick. Yep. Here. Yeah, that bus was loud as hell, wasn't it, bro? Mm -hmm. Let me share it right quick. Give me one second. Get um get that first Thessalonians first. Okay. As long as the camera can hear you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You seen the precepts on the thing, on the uh, comment thing. Not off this phone though, but off this phone. Once I shared it, you know what I'm saying? You know that he pretty much died. Showing this guy internet, but nonetheless though, nonetheless we live. Pop up in a couple of seconds. Let's stop changing the IP address now. We're just gonna flow with the scriptures that we got. Okay. I'm gonna bring yours. First Thessalonians, because we rolling, right? Yep. Okay. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. Right. But of the times and the seasons. Matter of fact, start it on, just go straight to 3. Okay. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, Peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God so people here for a bear. And the scripture said, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come. Well, what have you been hearing on the news? Everything is going back to being normal, like we had the park right about now. I mean, everybody and their grandma is outside right about now, man. I mean, when we say everybody and their grandma, everybody and their grandma is outside right about now. Just lock in, rain this down, son. And, and, what, and what you got on the news? You got you got the, um, the people that's actually ruling the earth right about now telling you that everything is going back to being normal. Just take the stabbing jab, you know what I'm saying? Everything going back to being normal. Grocery stores then open back up. You know what I'm saying? Restaurants then open back up. The pools, the parks, all that stuff then open back up. What else, bro? Oh yeah, you got the clubs. You got the clubs open back up. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, these um, different football stadiums, basketball stadiums, you know what I'm saying? Hockey, hockey um, arenas. Everything, then they open back up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, it's like 70% capacity. It's not 100% yet, but it's like 70% um, capacity. So they're pretty much telling you that everything's pretty much going back to being normal, right? Yep. So what it say, bro? But look, look, though, they're saying that, but we're going to speak according to the Bible, right? That's right. Go ahead. This is First Thessalonians. And Lord willing, y'all can hear us. I'm saying the wind kind of picking up a little bit. It was doing fine. Anytime you turn this camera, though, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Everything be all good until you turn on that camera. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And it's a problem. But go ahead, brother. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety. Anytime you turn on the news, they tell you it's getting ready to be going back, everything going back to being normal. Uh, we're going to make America great again and all that other nonsense. For when they shall say, peace and safety. Then sudden. Oh, yeah, you ain't got to wear your mask no more. You yep. know what I'm saying? In certain places. That's making you think that everything's going back to being normal. For when they shall say, peace and safety. Go ahead. 
then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Look, then sudden destruction is going to come upon you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Yep. Get Romans, bro, 13. Mm -hmm. It says, when you start hearing of all this talk of everything going back to being normal, your, your, your peace, we were living in peaceful times. So for and then I want to hold, um, hold Matthew, the 24th chapter. Mm -hmm. Start at verse um, 6, I'm thinking. When it went there, just the verse says, um, be not deceived. Mm -hmm. and that's an, that's where we got the title of this video from. From St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, I'm thinking verse 6, right? Yep. Be not deceived. Mm -hmm. You, you sure? Yo, you want that now? Uh, no, that's 5, then, huh? No, that's 4. So we got that from 4, yeah. okay, St. Matthew 24 and 4. That's where the title of this video came from. Because the Lord, Yahweh I told us what to look out for. Do you, do you not know the Lord is on his way, man? You, you, do you not see the reportings of all these chariot sightings, so-called UFO sightings? That's that's a curse to the earth, man. That lets you know right there that peace ain't coming, man. The, the Lord said evil, and only evil. That's right. Behold, it's coming. We're going to get that, Lord, well, in Ezekiel. We, see, we're out there to warn our people, starting off with the head of apostles. That when you when you start hearing the whole your leader, your community, community tie, leaders, community tie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the president, um, pork pork chop pastors, of course. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know, the different governors and mayors and all that. When they when they start using that phrase, we're gonna make everything go back to being normal and watch out. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Mm hmm This is um you want first Thessalonians? Romans. 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 This so you finished Thessalonians, right? No. You didn't finish that off? Mm -hmm. Finish that off. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. Right. For when they shall say peace and safety, right. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Look, then then sudden destruction, man. So that's that's what's gonna come. When you think everything is normal, sudden destruction is gonna come up on this place. And anytime something happens suddenly, it catches you off guard. Right. You're not aware of it. See, this is the time our people people are supposed to be watching. And they ain't gonna be able to pull up down bro for this phone. You say the internet all dead. I'm looking at it. You know, I want, I want to bring up some other scriptures. The scriptures told us to watch as well as pray. Because you don't know the time. I'm going to see if I can get that, though. It might work for that. Read it one more time, bro. Mm -hmm. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, right. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Then that's when sudden destruction is going to come upon them, man. Yeah. The internet working a little bit so I can get there. This niggas bug the fuck out out mm -hmm. here, man. You know. Let me get let me get this scripture. I ain't understanding that one. Hopefully they get rid of these. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look, listen to this. This is on um, St. Mark chapter 13, verse 30, 33. Take ye heed, watch and pray. For ye know not when the time is. But the Lord left us clues, you know, and signs of when he was gonna send his only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai. And some of the clues we're gonna go into them. Um, St. Matthew, the um, 24th chapter. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into some of the clues and some of the signs that the Lord left us to watch out for. So yeah, everybody can say, you know, what I'm saying everything's going back to being normal. It's a bright sunny day, and you can get on a plane there and go wherever you want to. But what that mean? At the end of the day, we gotta still stay focused on what the Lord told us, man. According to the Bible, one more time, St. Mark 13, 33. Take ye heed, man. Be aware, man. When you're taking heed of something, that means you're being aware of something. Right. You know what I'm saying? It says watch and pray. So at the same time, everybody's saying peace and safety, we watching. We watching the news, we're keeping up with current events. We look, we watching, we actually watching what's going on in our backyard. Yep. The alphabet game. You know what I'm saying, bro? The alphabet boys, right? That's right. You know I'm saying nothing but alphabet boys. You can't see the Lord said he ain't gonna hold his tongue. Look, wickedness has exceedingly proved the whole earth, but you you gonna believe somebody telling you that everything's going back to being normal? Are you are you serious? You you, you still don't see wickedness at an all-time high? You think so you so you think this wickedness wickedness is gonna continue to go on and the Lord ain't gonna do nothing about it? Mm -hmm. why, why would the Lord say watch and pray? that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things getting ready to come down the pass. You know what I'm saying, bro? If we, look, we, we, we ought to obey the how of Hashem Yahushua rather than man. Yes, Acts 5, 29. You see? I, I, I gotta read it again, bro. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. We don't know the date, we don't know the hour, we don't know the month, we don't know the year. 
but we know it's close. Why? Because the signs, man. The signs and the clues that you have about Shemel Shot left us, man, to let us know that we're here. We're, we're, we're right at the door, man. What did you have, bro? Quick precept. Yeah. Just going on what you were saying. And then after that, you can get, um, we're going to get a whole lot, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get a whole lot, Lord willing. A quick little lesson through the spirit. What time are we going to wrap it up, bro? Uh, what you call it? This is 2nd Edges, chapter 9, verse 1. Right. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently. Yeah, we're supposed to be measuring the time. How you measure the time? You link up whatever's going on in the earth. You link it up with the Bible. The Bible tells you exactly what time we in, you know? I mean, if you want to um, finish that mm -hmm. and then go right back to Thessalonians mm -hmm. 5 and then jump back up to 1. Mm -hmm. This is on 2nd Edges chapter 9 verse 1. Right. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently. Right. See, our people ain't measuring the time. They just listen to anything somebody say. They ain't measuring the time. Because if you was measuring the time and you was linking it up, to what the Bible is saying, man, you would know that you're not living in peaceful times, no matter how many times a person say it. They can say, oh, we're living in peaceful times or everything's getting ready to go back to being normal until their face turn purple. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Until they turn purple in the face. That don't mean you're going to believe it. Because you watch it, man. Blessed is he that read it. See, look, the scripture says it's high time to wake out of sleep. Why? Because salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. Salvation. The chariots, man. Why do why you think we're seeing more chariot sightings, man? I think um, the brothers, you know what I'm saying, from uh, Chicago, all kind of chariots, you know what I'm saying, was over them last week, man. Yeah. Thou, look, they said thousands of them, yo, and they was all in a straight row. You know what I'm saying, bro? And when we had camp sometimes, um, right before the time so-called changed or whatever, we used to see chariots, you know what I'm saying, every time, we, right before we got ready in camp. Mm -hmm. Enough chariots, two, three chariots, you know what I'm saying, coming through. Every Saturday, man. So what did it say again, bro? Yep. The second edge is chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently right. in itself. Right. And when and when thou seest part of the signs pass. That's how we know what time it is. We're seeing part of the signs pass. Go ahead. Which I have told thee before. Right. Then shall thou understand. Then shall, look, look. Then shall ye understand, not everybody, the small remnant. Man, go by. It says, it says, then shall ye understand. You know what I'm saying? Then shall ye well understand. They ain't talking about everybody, because the average Israelite don't know what the hell, I mean, madness, right? Yeah. The average Israelite don't know what the hell going on, man. But it's good, but, it's, but we do. Yep. Go ahead, understand well, bro. Then shall I understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Lord is getting ready to visit the earth, man, all right? You know, and matter of fact, the Lord is, uh, he, he visiting the earth now, man. Get, um, get Isaiah the 13th chapter, bro. Let's go, just go, to, uh, start at six. Either five or six. It says, it says the Lord's gonna um, begin to visit the world, which he made. This is how the Lord is gonna come and visit this place. That's the five. What is it, how are you? That's first six. Get six. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord cometh. Right, remember it says the day of the Lord is near than what we believe? This is how it's going to be. You, you, you think it's going to be peaceful because that's what the, uh, the news broadcasters are saying. That's what they're telling on their tell lie division. You know what I'm saying? On that witchcraft. And Jay bugged the hell out. Come through here running and shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Some old kid of shit. Grown. Go ahead, though. The Lord got a mess waiting on him, though. That's right. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shot, is at hand. Right, the scripture is telling you to howl, scream, moan, cry out. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shot, who they even call God and Jesus Christ, is at hand. Go ahead. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Look, it's, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. It didn't say nothing about peace. And just because it's music, man, I mean, Father, that, this is the weirdest music I ever heard, all right, bro? Yeah. You don't do nothing but be mumbling. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, bro? 
But then they got on they got on Ja Rule for singing though, right? Remember that? Yeah. You remember when 50 Cent got on Ja Rule, you know what I'm saying, made Ja Rule look all corny for singing and rapping at the same time? Well, what the hell is everybody else doing right about now? That's right. Singing and rapping, man. Bunch of clowns, man. Mumble rap, man. But, but look, but, but why they doing all that? We watching and praying. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. It says, it should come as a destruction from the Almighty. Right, the day of the Lord is going to come as a destruction from the Almighty. But the government keeps telling you that peace is coming. All these chariot sightings, all this killing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, all this violence, you know saying? all these wars, rumors of wars. We're going to go back to that Matthew now. Mm -hmm. That's where we got the title of this video from. Go ahead. It says, therefore shall all hands be faint. Right, meaning weak. Go ahead, but everybody hard right, right about now, though. That's right. Not, but not in that day, though. Go ahead. And every man's heart. Meaning his, meaning his mind. Go ahead. Shall melt. These people going to bug the hell out, man. You ain't got nothing but a bunch of bug outs right about now. But in this day, they really going to bug the hell out. Mm -hmm. The majority of these people going to give up the spirit anyway, man. As soon as they see, see Lord Yahweh shining that chariot, they going to give up the spirit, man. Go ahead. It says, and they shall be afraid. Right. These people, hey, look, everybody know saying tough. Hard thug, um, gangster, and all this other nonsense, Savages. savage. Yeah, yeah. But in that day, you know what I'm saying? Every man's heart shall melt and every, everyone shall be afraid. Go ahead. And they shall be afraid. Right. Pangs and sorrow. Right. Shall take hold of them. Go ahead. They should be in pain as a woman that traveleth. Right, and anytime you hear a woman saying she going into them, them labor pains or about to have that baby, she said, feel like she about to die, man. Mm -hmm. So so you, you, these people going to be feeling excruciating pain. You know what I'm saying? These people are going to know it's their last day on the earth, too. You know what I'm saying? They're going to know it in their spirit, bro, that it's the last day. Like, like, I, I spent, it's my last day BSing around. You know what I'm saying? They're going to know it, man. Go ahead. It says... They should be in pain as a woman that traveleth. Because remember the scripture say, and they shall die without knowledge? Yep. I forgot what scripture it is. It escapes my mind right about now. It might be um, Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking it's Job. It's something, though. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The Lord said they're going to die without knowledge, man. That's, that's when you're going to know your last day of um, acting a fool, cooning a buffoon. You know that's going to be your last day, though, when this day right here happened. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. It says... They should be amazed one at another. Go ahead. Their faces shall be as flames. You don't. Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashima was shy. Right. Cometh. Right. Cruel. Cruel. Peaceful. Cruel. Happy. Cruel. Smiling. Cruel. Party. Cruel. The day of the Lord cometh. Cruel, man. Inhumane. Um, bloodthirsty. You look up the definition of the word cruel, goes into like bloodthirsty. You know what I'm saying? Cutthroat, inhumane. That's how it's gonna be, man. I mean, the Lord ain't having no pity. The Lord coming to wax your ass, man. Straight up. Go ahead. Both with wrath, right, and fierce anger. Does that sound like peace to you? The Lord said, "I'm coming with wrath, man." And this place done anyway, man. You got more homeless people than a little bit down here, man. Mm -hmm. You got more homeless people down here. You know what I'm saying? Than people actually coming through and just walking around and getting off their jobs, sitting around. People been sitting down here all day. You know what I'm saying? With nothing to do, we just got off. Well, I just got off the brother about to head to work in a few. Lord willing, after we do this lesson, but the average person down here may either been down here all day or just coming through for a little snack and then they gone, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then this you know right there, there ain't no peaceful, we ain't living in peaceful times. It says, um, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. But when the righteous um, bear rule, the people rejoice. The righteous aren't ruling right about now, so what makes you think peace is gonna come, right? That's it on that. So go back to what you was reading. Mm -hmm. Finish that Thessalonians. Yeah. This then is, you go straight to Matthew. God. This is saying Matthew chapter. I mean, so like this first Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety. Go to one. Start at one. Yeah. All this on the verse I one is one. We already read three already. Time. This is on First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. But the times and in the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Why? Why? Cause you watching, you praying. Mm -hmm. So nobody ain't got to really tell you what time it is. So we do these videos for the people that don't know what time it is, because we already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? We know what time it is, and we're going to go right back to St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. But as soon as you finish reading just that particular verse, go to Romans, the 13th chapter, verse 11. 
So when you read that one more time? This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. Right. But the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Right, why? For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night. That's why we watch it, because you never know when the thief is going to come. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you, um, if the, man, if the good man in the house would have known that the thief was going to come, he would have been watching. So we watch him, man. That thief didn't change his mind. Mm -hmm. That thief didn't say, I ain't, I ain't coming no more. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about it. Nah, that thief's still coming. Lord Yahweh is still coming. That's why he told us to watch as well as pray, man. We ain't, we ain't forget that. We get that Romans now. Mm -hmm. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And then we're going to go after, after you finish that. Finish on um, 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter. And then we go to St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Fine. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Right. And that, knowing the time, right. that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. And then our people act like they're so smart. Our people act like they know what time it is, but they don't, though, man. Mm -hmm. the scripture says it's high time to wake out of sleep. Don't you know what time it is? Or, or, or are you still being deceived? You know what I'm saying? The majority of you Israelites are still being deceived. You don't know what the hell time it is. Actors. My people ain't nothing but a bunch of actors, man. A bunch of hypocrites. They don't know what time it is. Finish that off, bro, and get St. Matthew, the 16th chapter. Yep. Start at 1. Mm -hmm. It says, For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now, that's what time it is. Salvation is nearer than what we believe. That's what time it is, man. So you got salvation and you got destruction, man. You know. That, that, that's what time it is. Salvation and destruction is at hand, man. So whatever, whatever part of the Lord, how you take part in, then that's going to be on the Lord. Our job is only just to warn you. Read that again. Mm -hmm. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Right. Take your time. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, right. that now it is high time, to awake out of sleep. See, that's one thing about it. our people don't know what time it is because they ain't watching. We know exactly what time it is because we watching. Watching all the signs, man, it's clear. It's clear as day. Because as, at one time, we didn't know what time it was. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But now we do, though. You know what I'm saying? We, we're seeing pretty clear now. Everything that's going on, we ain't, we ain't stuck in that stupor. I re remember the scripture say, um, the dead body shall lie in the great city. You know what I'm saying? With the spirit of Sodom and Egypt, yep. many of our people are dead. Dead to the fact that what's going on, they don't know what time it is. The average Israelite is dead. Mm -hmm. They don't know what time it is, even though they got a watch on. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, get, um, you read that? Mm -hmm. You finished with that? Mm -hmm. Get that Matthew, the 16th chapter. Start at 1. We're just going gonna to prove according to the Bible that they don't know what time it is. This is saying Matthew, chapter 16, verse 1. The Pharisee, the Pharisees also started so three, kind of, two, two. Yeah. This is Saint Matthew chapter sixteen, what, verse what, two. What, what the view looking like? It's straight. We don't need to do it. Just standing there. We don't need to have the camera on him. Go ahead. This is Saint Matthew chapter sixteen, verse two. Right. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather. See, when it comes to knowing the time of weather, you know what I'm saying? They they know. You know what I'm saying? They can tell you that it's going, it's going to be a hot day today. Mm -hmm. You come right on outside, you know what I'm saying, and be able to tell if it's going to be hot or not. Why? When you look in the sky, you're like, oh, yeah, oh that sun out? We're chilling today. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're probably going to go to the park. We're probably going to go to the pool. We're going to do something active. Why? But the sun is shining. You can tell what time it is when it comes to discerning what, what, what the weather is going to be, right? Go ahead. It says, for the sky is red. Right. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. Right. For the sky is red and loud. So you can tell when it's getting ready to rain. So when it comes to being able to see, tell if it's going to rain, you know, if it's going to snow, you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. Or if it's going to be sunny, our people on point. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Read on. It says, for the sky is red and loud. Go ahead. Oh, ye hypocrites. Actors. Remember we said that earlier through the spirit? My people ain't nothing but a bunch of actors. Kind. Go ahead. You can discern the face of the sky. Right. You can, you know when it's going to be a sunny day, when it's going to be a, run, a rainy day, things of that nature, right? Yep. You're going to go get that lotion, right? Yep. Go ahead. But 
but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Right. Well, well, the only thing you got to do, you know what I'm saying, can't, can't discern what time it is, actually, what time it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though you're watching the news, you see missiles, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You see this country against that country. Yep. You would say one one should know what time it is, right? That's right. With everything that's going on, you see. Look, you watching the news, you see it's a shortage of food. That's right. Look though, but on, on, look, you still don't know what time it is because you have been blinded. The scriptures tell you if, um, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, right? That's right. And this motherfucker went way over to get a chair and sit right there. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go, bro. It says in the other spot, just as clear. You know what I'm saying? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. They always want the Lord to give them a sign. You know what I'm saying? Our people are wicked to say it, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And there shall no sign be given unto it. Right. But the sign of the prophet Jonas. Right. So the only sign the Lord give, gave you was a man preaching his word. Mm -hmm. That's the only sign you really need. That's the biggest sign a person can ask for. The man of the Lord. Every time you see the man of the Lord out there on the highways and byways, that's the only sign you need to know what time it is. Oh shit, because if you think about, uh, you, if you know anything about the scriptures, that's why I say, blessed is he that read it. Anytime you see the man of the Lord on the scene, that means the Lord about to make a move on that that's place. Right. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you read into the scriptures, you read about the ancient prophets coming to a city or a town, that means the Lord's going to bring judgment right after that. He sent forth the prophets to warn the people first, though, before judgment came. You got prophets in every state now. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching his word, week in and week out. Now people still talking about some Lord give me a sign. You heard what DMX said? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And before yeah. DMX got famous and all of that, you had the prophets of the Lord in New York. Mm -hmm. But he's still talking about some give me a sign, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, go ahead. This St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when its branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Right. You know that summer is not. Right. You can tell when the season's getting ready to change. You start to see the leaves, you no know saying, budding on the tree. That's why kids need to be outside, man. They can't be cooled up in the damn house. Then the kids don't know how to act. Jay thought they were going to get them down, you know what I'm saying? The kids been cooped up in the damn house for a year. Then they coming outside all bugged out, you know what I'm saying, releasing all this energy and shit, you know what I mean? You know how excited he was? Yeah. How much more Jay kids, you know what I'm saying? Read it again, though, bro. This is Saint Matthew. This came out of nowhere, didn't it? Yeah. This Saint Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse thirty-two. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when its branch is yet tender, and put it forth leaves. Right. Ye know that summer is nigh. Go ahead. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things. Right. No. Hey, look, look, pandemics. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got everybody wearing damn masks. You don't think nothing wrong, though. You don't think nothing going on. You know what I'm saying, bro? Food shortage. You see all this death and destruction. I mean, you see how many people the Lord killed like one time now? Yeah. They did that on that train kind of car. Not the one that happened today, but that car, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, they, you get on that damn car, you know what I'm saying? They take people from like one part of the mountain to the other. Mm -hmm. I know you heard about that falling, right? Well, anyway, you know what I'm saying? It was like 15 people on that, they died. Then you had them people that was running that marathon, like 21 people died. In a marathon, bro. Can't can go out for a jog nowadays, yo, without the Lord killing your ass. You know what I mean, bro? More plain. Look, the shooters is out, out, off the train right about now, right? Mm -hmm. These people killing each other more than a little bit. And you still don't know what time it is, right? You still think we're living in peaceful times, right? Don't be deceived. You can tell when a tree, you can tell when summertime, springtime coming, right. rather. That's right. But you see that tree starting to bud. You see them leaves coming back on that tree. You start to see that greenery. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, springtime now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See that fruit starting to bud out? That fruit starting to get ripe. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's trying to get them cherries. You know what I'm saying? Them strawberries. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, them grapes and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's time now. You know, you got the squirrels and everything out, man. Look, you, you know, it's summertime now. That's right. Go ahead. So, likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near. Right. Even at the door. Right. You know what I'm saying? The end of this place, man. Destruction and the Lord coming. You know? That's right. Let's go to, um, finish that second address right quick. Got it. And then get that Matthew. Matter of fact, hold that right quick. Get that Matthew. 24. Yeah. And then we're going to go right back to second address, the ninth chapter. We're going to start back at the top. Go ahead. This is saying Matthew chapter 24. Get three first. Verse three. Yeah. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives. How the view looking? 
Cause I can't see it. It's pretty chill. Yeah. This is the same Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, right. Tell us when shall these things be? Right. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Right. In the end of the world. Right. They wanted to know what time it was going to be when the Lord was going to come, man. What did he say, bro? It says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So, so look, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, those Israelite groups, if you want to call them that, you know what I'm saying, those false prophets, saying we're, we're not supposed to be worried about what time it is. We're not supposed to be worried about what time, the, our release date, pretty much. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be worried about, you know what I'm saying, when you're going to get released from prison. What? A man is locked up, count down them days, you know what I'm saying, bro? He, he most definitely want to know when he's going to get released from prison, right? So these guys bug the hell out, right, bro? That's right. You can't see me or nothing, can you? Mm -hmm. In this thing, you can't see me or nothing, can you? Just leave a little bit. How about now? Yeah, let's just see a little bit. Keep going. You good. Go ahead. It says, verse 5, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach. Right. And shall deceive many. Go ahead. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of war. See, these some of the signs right here. If you watching, and you paying attention to what's going on, you most definitely hearing wars, hearing about wars and rumors of wars. You actually seeing wars pop off and then you got talks of wars. That's what a rumor is. Go ahead. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right. See that ye be not troubled. Right. For all these things must come to pass. All these things must come to pass. So, so we most definitely need to know what time it is. For all these things must come to pass. Go ahead. It says, for all these things must come to pass. Right. Ain't but, no, ain't no might. So, so everybody saying peaceful times is coming over, bro. The Lord said wars and rumors of wars got to happen. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. But the end is not yet. Read on. For nations shall rise against nations. This got to happen. Class wars, civil wars, race wars, economic wars. Relationship wars, all these things must come to pass. It didn't say nothing about no peace in it. You know, um, peace comes out the war. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Peace. You have to. You got. You got to have war first, and then you get peace after that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't. You can't have peace without war. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, "And kingdom against kingdom." Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why all these nations coming against each other, man. Yeah, all these all nations are going to turn their back, you know what I'm saying? They're going to, turn on, they're going to stop fighting each other and they're going to turn and start fighting America, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and that's what the scriptures say. But oh, yeah, your community leaders keep saying peace is coming. All right. Go ahead. It says, and there should be famines. Right, so this is, look, that don't sound like peace to me. Mm -hmm. if, a, if a great famine is coming, the Lord said he's going to send down the, down the sore sword of famine, something to that effect. That, that don't sound like peaceful times to me if a famine is coming, mm -hmm. right? Don't be deceived, Israel, a famine is coming. Ain't gonna be no more Bojangles, mm -hmm. no more cookout, no more church's chicken, no more medza, or whatever you eat at. Ain't gonna be no more, um, what's that damn grocery store? Everybody try to go to the healthy store. Uh, oh, it's, oh, 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 yeah, ain't gonna be no more hoes food. With, that, with, with all that grocery up in there, it's garbage anyway. Mm -hmm. You got to spend all that outrageous money on peanut butter celery sticks and all this other nonsense when it's garbage, you know what I'm saying? It's worse than the stuff that it's that food line, you know what I'm That's saying, right. bro? That's right. But you deceive though, go ahead. It says, and there should be famines. Right. And pestilence. No, look, look, more pestilences, go ahead. And earthquakes. Look, look, look the Lord brung a, um, a gas shortage. That lasted for about a week and Jay went bro, right back to down sleep. Mm -hmm. Started partying, right, bro? That's right. Didn't, didn't say, Lord, forgive me for what I did wrong or none of that, right? Yep. Just went back to being wicked, right? That's right. Took a week off from being wicked because he had to because he had no gas to be able to go nowhere and creep and buy chronic and drugs from the drug dealer man. So he had to sit there and the drug dealer man, he didn't want to take a chance um, driving to your crib. He ran out of damn gas. Mm -hmm. So everybody was sitting for like a week, you know what I'm saying? But now look, everybody back to being wicked again, right? Yep. Go ahead. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, it's, it's earthquakes everywhere. Let me look at my earthquake app. Mm -hmm. If the internet will work, should it be good? Let's check out the earthquake app right quick, brother. Let's see. 
Speak right quick, bro. Man, that's right. And just touching back on the own families, which we're just going into, it ain't going to be no more Whole Foods like the big bro was going into. No more KFC, no more Taco Bell. Because right. even as you said, he said in the full storehouses, shall be found on empty soon yeah. come. Yep. It ain't going to be no more food in these storehouses. You know, the grocery store shelves going to be empty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said they're going to bring, um, bring the murphy this place down anyway. You know what I'm saying? He said the city of confusion is broken down. He's breaking it down bit by bit, man. That's why you think these people are bugging the hell out, you know? Mm -hmm. Finish your statement. But now nah, you pretty much hit on the head, you know? Soon come, all these stores, you know, you ain't gonna be able to get no more turkey out the stores, no right. more no, 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 no more of that pork that you keep like eating. Oh yeah, no more chicken. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a shortage of chicken. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What is Jake gonna do without that chicken, man? You know what I'm saying? That bird, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, bro? You know every weekend they're cooking some chicken on the grill. Mm -hmm. What are they gonna do without the chicken, bro? Lose their mind, right, bro? You saw what happened when they, um, when they had no more um, Popeye chicken sandwiches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jake lost it. So how much more when it ain't no more chicken, period? Whether it's a sandwich, whether it's a leg, whether it's a breast, whether it's a thigh. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Zilch. Nothing. Nada. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You lose it, bro. That's right. Oh, yeah, the earthquake app. It said earthquakes in diverse places, right? Remember, these are all the signs that you need to be looking out for. And then don't be deceived. Uh, so far this month, and today is the 26th, they have 5,791 earthquakes mm -hmm. in diverse places. But, oh, yeah, they said peace is coming, all right, bro? Lord ain't playing, man. Five thousand. Yeah, the one hundred twenty-five today, and they ain't they ain't reporting everything. You know what I'm saying? You just look. You just had a seven point three. You know what I'm saying? China. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. But oh yeah, everybody getting ready for the Olympics. Everybody getting ready for the Stanley Cup. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The hockey games and all that. I think basketball still going on. I think. Mm -hmm. I really don't really even get into sports like that. I'm more occupied in province. They say the man of the Lord, and there ain't nothing wrong with watching sports. But if, if your only thing, if the only thing you're doing is watching sports all day, then you need to check yourself. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because a whole lot going on. They made a video all day, you know what I'm saying? But you know how many points LeBron scored that whole week. Come mm -hmm. on now. So let's go back, bro. Mm -hmm. This is St. Matthew chapter 24. Just finish off where you was at. Kind. Uh, the same Matthew chapter 24 verse 7 at the bottom right it said in earthquakes and diverse places right. all these are the beginning of sorrows all these are the beginning of sorrows but everybody say peace is coming mm -hmm. the love of many is waxing cold man the Lord said this gospel gonna get pushed once this gospel get pushed throughout the four points of the earth and then the end gonna come we're at the end of this place remember right. Esau is the end of the world Jacob is the beginning of it the follow a new beginning is coming bro a new beginning, man. It's going to be beautiful too, man. You know? So go back. Matter of fact, since you're in uh, St. Matthew, finish, um, read on uh, 21. Okay. Yeah, read 21. This is St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For, for then shall be great tribulation. Right. Such as was not since the beginning of the world. Right. Great tribulation, man. Peter keeps telling you peace is coming, all right, bro? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, great tribulation is coming, man, not peace, man. Go ahead. It says, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Right, but these people are telling you peace is coming. The Lord said, tribulation is coming. Tribulation that you ain't never seen or heard about is coming upon the face of the earth real soon. That's why that's why the scripture says, watch as well as pray. Go ahead. To this time, no nor ever shall be. Right, so like we always go into, take all the ancient time periods, put them all together, the flood included, you know what I'm saying? 70 AD, Egypt, all of it, man. All these, all these different wars, put them all together, man. They don't compare to what's coming, man, all right? That's why that's why Israel should be in high alert right about now, taking heed to, the, to this word, you know? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Right. Go ahead. It says, because it's because like it, it's gonna get that bad. This devil gonna come down with great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. Ain't no flesh gonna be saved. Then the Lord on not can come, man. Mm -hmm. But what it say, bro? It says, but for the elect's sake. That's what it's all about. That's what we do these lessons for the elect of the nation of Israel. So-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. That's who. That's only. I mean, who, who else could we possibly be doing these lessons for, bro? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who could we possibly be doing these lessons for other than the elect, man? No damn body. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anybody else listening? 
Why would we why would we be wasting our time doing lessons for two thirds when they don't listen anyway? They ain't nothing but a bunch of bug outs. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, but for the elect's sake, those days should be short. Right. So the Lord's actually speeding up time. That's right. I think you had one of them dudes, he studies the earth. He said the earth is actually has actually sped up. You know what I'm saying? The last couple of years, mm -hmm. the last 20 years, I'm thinking. He said the earth, you know what I'm saying, sped up your time. Time be flying by, man. Sure, I'm off already, bro. All right. I, I was just at work, you know what I'm saying? It was just morning time. Now, look, mm -hmm. I'm off already. Look, you, you getting ready to go in. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yep. That's the end of that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Get on, go back to Ezra's. Okay. Anything good on the board? Uh, Nothing yet? Nah. It's all good. We'll keep flowing. Just read on. They'll yeah, watch it later. This is um, Second Edges, chapter 9. Let me start at 1 again. Uh, yeah. Second Edges, chapter 9, verse 1. Right. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right. And, and, when, right, and right after that, go to um, Second Edges, the 16th chapter. Mm -hmm. Right after that, you start down at the bottom. Okay. It says, And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. And then we just read about some of the signs that just passed in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. We just read about some of the signs. That's right. Wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, things of that nation, uh, nation against nation. Look at, what, look at what's going on here in America, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Racial tensions at an all-time high, right? Yep. It's going to go down soon come. That's why you had that um, elderly um, so-called black lady from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was like um, 107. You know what I'm saying? Say, say, nobody remember what happened to her. You know what I'm saying? Jay starting to cry out now, the Lord hearing him. You know what I'm saying? Jay starting to cry to the Lord now, bro. Now the Lord making moves on this place now, man. You see? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, and we're starting to see all the signs. The Lord said, once you start seeing these signs, I'm coming right after the signs. That's right. Go ahead. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes, and then we just read about there yeah. earthquakes. You know what I'm saying? It was like 5,900. I'm, I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm right here at it. Let's see. What, what did it say? It says, um, let me see how many earthquakes it was. 5,791 earthquakes this month alone, bro. 5,000. A big old five. You know what I'm saying? 791 earthquakes, and the day is still young. Yeah in diverse places so when there should be seen earthquakes go ahead and uproars of the people in the world well look uproars of the people in the world i'm, I'm gonna get that definition right quick okay. i'm gonna get that definition right quick laws willing let me see let me get this definition right quick for uproar yeah internet working pretty good now this is um, uproar, so now, a loud and passionate noise or disturbance. Didn't we see that last weekend? That's right. You know what I'm saying? All throughout the city, right? Mm -hmm. um, last weekend and the weekend yep. before that. And just constantly, man, throughout the four corners of the earth. Enough, enough uproar, man. Let's see, um, turbulence, mayhem, havoc, babble, um, shouting, yelling, mm -hmm. AKA protesting. Yep. You know what I'm saying? A, a public expression of protest or outrage people are fed up with what's going on man look look these are all part of the signs jake do not be deceived start believing that peace is coming man and then i want you to hold on ezekiel ezekiel 7. read uh, i want four and five first and then jump straight down the arm um, yep uh okay this oh, yeah, yeah look, i would say a prudent man perceive the evil and hide it from himself right. you see yep. a prudent man mean a man with wisdom the wisdom of the Bible, you, you see what's coming, man, all right? All the clues, all the signs are here. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. This is 2nd Edges, chapter 9, verse 3. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. You know, look, look, it, says, it says in the world. So you got, you got protesters everywhere now, man. You got people protesting throughout the four corners of the earth. The Lord said these, this, this is one of the major signs. And then like, like I was saying earlier, bro, at the beginning, you're seeing all kind of chariots, mm -hmm. so-called kind of UFO sightings, bro, more than a little bit, man. You know? I know the brothers from Chicago, Lord, they said um, this past weekend, they were seeing nothing but chariots, like thousands of them, bro. Thousands of them. You know what I'm saying? 
in, in a single foul line, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lord, get ready to make a move on this place, man. Go ahead. It says, therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right. then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things right. from the days that were before thee. Right, we, we just read about that. We read about that in Matthew. Mm -hmm. You know? And plus you can read about that in Isaiah, Isaiah 46, starting at 9 and 10, you know? Matter of fact, as soon as you finish reading that, get that. Get Isaiah 46 and 10. Right. As soon as you finish reading that. It says, The Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Go ahead. For like all that is made in the world right. have a beginning and an end. And this place had its beginning, you know? It was, it was, it was um, shit was wild for us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The so-called beginnings of America was wild as I don't know what for us, man. You know what I'm saying? Won't no relief, won't nothing but hell for us, man. This place had a beginning, then we had the end. And we're That's thanking right. the Lord, man, that we're at the end of this place. And he gave us clues and signs, you know what I'm saying? To show us that we is at the end of this place. We ain't got to think about being at the end of this place. We know we at the end of this place, man. That's right. Go ahead. It says, look, look, bro, no matter how many times people come on the news, the news, no matter how many times people come on the news and say, oh, yeah, everything's going back to being normal. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't want everything going back to being normal. That's right. Because, shit, if everything won't go back to being normal, hell, we're going to still continue to be slaves. You know what I'm saying? We want the Lord to come back and destroy this place, man. That's right. Go ahead. It says, have a beginning and an end. Right. And the end is manifest. Right, so you have Bashimah Shah's making it known to his servants, the prophets. But remember Amos um, 3 and 7? Mm -hmm. Show that the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. The Lord has revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Starting off with the head of apostles and elders of great millstone that we we at the end of this place. That's what we read earlier, Romans 13 and 11. It's high time to wake out of sleep. The salvation near to what we believe. Right. The hopeful elect. Salvation near, man. You can feel it, man. You can taste it. That's it on that. Okay. Get on um, second Ezra. Did I call for something before that? Second Ezra is 16. You said something else. Get um no nah, first Ezekiel. I want I want Ezekiel first. Ezekiel 7. Um 4 and 5. I want 4 and 5. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 4. And my eyes shall not spare. Five and six. This is Ezekiel chapter seven, verse five. Thus says the Lord, Yahweh Shema was shy. And evil. Evil meaning bad times. And evil. Go ahead, meaning bad times. Evil. Go ahead. And evil. And only evil. Right, evil and only evil. Well, yeah, they said peace is coming on, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord, look, it said, then it said, thus said the Lord. Yep. Didn't it say, thus said the Lord? Yep. Read it again. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Right. Thus says the Lord God. See, that's what we believe in. That's what we trust in. Remember, it's better to trust in the Lord than put the confidence in man. Yep. So, so, so the Lord said, thus said the Lord. What, bro? And evil. And evil. And only evil. And only peace. And only evil. Wonderful times. Only evil. Bright sunny days. Only evil. Partying. Bur only. Burgers and fringes. Only evil. And only evil, man. Evil and only evil. Go ahead. It's come. Behold, it's come. I Means that's what you that's what you got to look out for. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to look forward to. Evil and only evil is come. Now jump down. Verse six. It says Nah, all the way down there. Um, twenty-five. Matter of fact, six going to that too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six and then twenty-five. And end is come. What, what the end of this place? Didn't we just read that, bro? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything has a beginning and an end. Mm -hmm. The end is come, man, with all this evil going on. That's why I can't deal with it. That's why I tell you. You know what I'm saying? I was staying on the block through. Yeah. Through. Go ahead. I always think somebody won't them, right? Mm -hmm. Always trying to dick somebody, right? Nobody don't want y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 6. Right. And end is come. And end is come. You must have bugged out, man. The, the end is come. Right. It watches for thee. Right, yeah, the, the end of this place, we, we right at the end of it. You can see all the signs, man. We right here too, man. 
I mean, we we right here at the end of this place, man. With all this violence, I mean, you had the, the BLM movement. You, you, yes. you know we at this place, man. We at the end of this place. It feels I'll see so, you. It feels good, too. Yep. You know? See, Jay know they're wicked. That's why I'm trying to get away from him. Because mm -hmm. I hope he don't come mess with us. Should we, we, should we doing a lesson? We ain't worried about nothing. That's right. Jake is, though. If you're doing something, you got something to worry about. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. They said, behold, it is come. Right. You can jump on down. Mm -hmm. This is Ezekiel chapter 7. All that noise up there. Go ahead, though. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Right. Destruction coming. Right, with peace coming. Destruction coming. Love is coming. Destruction coming. A bunch of hugs. Destruction coming. A bunch of kisses. Destruction coming. Um, weddings. Destruction coming. Cookouts. Destruction coming. Anything you can think of. Parades. Parade. Oh, yeah, yeah, more parades, right, bro? Destruction coming. You know what I'm saying? Destruction coming, damn it. You know what I'm saying? Bright sunny days. That's right. Destruction coming. Right, destruction coming, man. We ain't, look, we ain't read nothing else in that scripture, but destruction coming. Go ahead. And they shall seek peace. And everybody seeking peace. You get to take off your mask now. Yay, we get to go in the grocery store without our mask now. Mm -hmm. Ew, ew. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? We get to finally go to the back to the baseball game. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know, we get to go to the hockey game. Ew. It's gonna be peaceful, bro. We need to block somebody or something? Nah. Oh. But your phone died? It just died on Damn. Me. Go ahead. It says, and they, and there should be none. Look at that again. So, so, so everybody's thinking peace is coming, but look, there shall be none, right? Mm -hmm. There shall be none. Let's go to 2nd Ezra, mm -hmm. 16th chapter. This is second Edris chapter 16. My phone acting crazy. This one. The second one. We still rolling. I can't believe really it's your phone, Dotto, man. Yeah, my charger in the car. You gonna start at home. Um... Let me see. Let's see. Uh... Start at 14. Matter of fact, let me see. You speak right quick. All right, you know. So we're at the end of this thing. You know, you so-called Negroes lie to the Americans. You know, prophecies are moving. Prophecy coming to pass. You know, Yah Bashima Shah said that the MOB, you know, which is the RFID chip, is going to um, come in these last days. You know, they said there was going to be a famine of thirst taking place in these last days. The famine of the world was going to come in these last days. You know, and all these things are, you know, slowly but surely starting to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, going back to Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be to go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I have pleased. It's happening, you know? So it's it, time. It ain't gonna stop. That's right. You know, so at the end of the day, it's time for you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you know, to fall in line and get right with Yahweh Bashim Shah before it's too late. You can start on um, read 8, 9, 10. Then 11, and then jump to um, 14. <clears throat> we're going to wrap it up in a few. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Start at 10. I'm starting, no, um, what is it, 8, I said 8, 9? Yeah. Okay, 8, yeah, 9, yeah, and yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you even get there, get Jeremiah right quick. Okay. Get Jeremiah the 28th chapter. I'm going to bug outside this motherfucker. Just get, yeah, just bring out the scripture. This is Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me right. and before thee of old right. prophesied. See, that's what the prophets, everybody talking about something, because they, they prophesy in lies. We're prophesying the truth because it's according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. The prophets of the Lord, they prophesied or what, bro? Both against many countries right. and against great kingdoms. That don't, don't sound like nothing peaceful to me. They prophesied both against great countries, many kingdoms. Go ahead. Of war? Of war. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing um, peaceful about war. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? Body, guts. You know what I'm saying? Lungs, torsos, head pieces. You know what I'm saying, bro? Shoes and shit flying all over there. Come on, man. Yep. You know I'm saying builders are falling on people and all that. Ain't nothing peaceful about that. But that, that's exactly what's coming. Be not deceived. Go ahead. And of evil? And of evil, meaning bad times. Remember, evil. That's right. 
Go ahead. And a pestilence. And a pestilence, man. You know, and a pestilence ain't just, just a, a disease. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That gas shortage, that's a pestilence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A food shortage, that's a pestilence. You know what I'm saying, bro? Those nuclear missiles can be a pestilence. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, the plague. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know what I'm saying, um, this winter was a bad winter for these crops, you know what I'm saying? Then uh, there was a whole lot of flooding going on in the Midwest. So a whole lot of crops, you know what I'm saying, got destroyed, you know what I'm saying, thousands upon thousands, and they, and they did away with all that meat, mm -hmm. that milk and all that, you know what I'm saying, due to the you-know-what, you know what I'm saying, you know, Crown Royal, you got the birds, everybody's chilling, yep. you know what I'm saying, you know, go ahead. You want verse 9? Nah, go back to second Ezra. Okay. We're about to wrap it up. Show sure nobody wrap it up. This is second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 8, 9, eight. and 10. Yep. Second Edges chapter 16, verse 8. The mighty Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, sent up the plagues. Right, see, you can't do nothing about that. You can't stop that. The Lord is sending the plagues. I thought he don't bring evil though. That's right. Remember, dude, remember Captain Desaria, Captain Crunch? You know what I'm saying? Said um, the Lord didn't create evil. Mm -hmm. Well, it just said the Lord sent a what? It says, the the, the mighty Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, sent up the plagues. He said the Lord sent the plagues. Go ahead. And who is he that can drive them away? Who's going to turn them back? You know what I'm saying, yep. bro? Go ahead. A fire. What's the, what's the saying in the hood? Your arm's too short to fight with God, mm -hmm. to box with God. Go mm -hmm. ahead. It says, a fire shall go forth from his wrath. Right. That nuclear fire is coming soon. Come. Remember, the Lord said he created the smith to bring forth yep. an instrument. You know what I'm saying? Of his enemy's nation, he created the waster. You know what I'm saying? To destroy me and them ICBM missiles. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles, they can be shot from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. That's what's coming, not peace. Go ahead. And who is he they may quench it? Right. And enough fire, man. Mm -hmm. See, they put out this fire, you ain't gonna be able to put the fire out. Plus, remember the Lord said, um, think not to come and send peace on earth. I came not to send peace with a sword. Yep. Go ahead. It says, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he they may quench it? Right. He should cast lightnings, and who should not fear? Right. Well, yeah, you think peace is coming. Go ahead. He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Right, because that's how the Lord visited the earth. You can read about that in um, Isaiah 20. 29 and 6. Yep. Go ahead. It says, the Lord shall threaten, and who should not be utterly beaten? To powder. Yep, to powder. Right. Ain't nobody going to be able to stand up to the Lord. They, they, they space system. They space, uh, you know, they got the, um, the space force. And all that. Oh man, the Lord gonna wipe them all the hell out, bro. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Quick, man. There ain't gonna be nothing. The Lord gonna be torn around playing with them, man. Go ahead, bro. And who should not be utterly beaten to powder right. at his presence? That's right. Then jump down to 14, right? Mm hmm. Behold, the plagues are sent. Right. And shall not return again until, the come, until they come upon the earth. Right. The fire is kindled. Right. And shall not be put out. Right. Until it consumes the foundation of the earth. Right. This place is going to be totally annihilated soon. Come. Go ahead. It says, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer. Right. Return if not backward. Yeah, right. Once some missiles come out, you know what I'm saying? It's a wrap, yo. Ain't no going back in. Go ahead. Even so, the plagues that that shall be sent. Ain't, no, wish, ain't no wishing them, um, the missiles away once they get shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? Go ahead. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Right, see? But, oh, yeah, you thinking peace is coming on, right? The Lord said plagues coming upon the earth, not peace. We ain't heard peace yet. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Woe is me. Destruction. Woe is me. More destruction. Who will deliver me in those days? Right, then you know right there it's going to get deadly serious, but everybody's talking about peace. But why why, the, why a man of the Lord, a prophet, is saying the war to me, war is me, who going to deliver me in those days if peace is coming, right? If everything's all lovey-dovey, Know what I'm saying, bro? Why is a man of the Lord saying woe unto him? Know what I'm saying? Who would deliver him in those days? Talking about these times. Go ahead. It says, the beginning of sorrows right. and great mourning. The beginning of peace. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of happiness. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Go ahead. The beginning of famine. Look, look, don't sound like nothing peaceful to me. Look, look, think it's peaceful then. You can think it's peaceful all you want to. Think, look, look, uh, smile when that family comes. That's right. Since you think it's, it's a peaceful thing that's coming. Go ahead. It says, in great death. Look, a whole lot of death, bro. Don't sound like peace to me, do it? Nope. You know what I'm saying? Look, it says great death. Go ahead. The beginning of wars. Look, the beginning of wars. A whole lot of people dying. Go ahead. 
and the power shall stand in fear. It's gonna get so chaotic, you know what I'm saying? The people that actually rule the earth right about now, aka the wicked, they're gonna be terrified. Go ahead. The beginning of evils? Look. Evils. The beginning of evils, the beginning of bad times. But you you keep listening to the dude that's saying peace is coming. Mm -hmm. All right. What does it say, bro? If, if um, the deceived and the deceiver hears, mm -hmm. the Lord wants you to get deceived by that false prophet, man, or whoever you're listening to. Go ahead. It says, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Pray to Yah, about Shimei Rashai. Go ahead. Behold, famine and plague. Right. Tribulation. I'm catching a whole lot of hell. I read about that. Look, and the Lord said, Great tribulation. Remember in Matthew? The Lord said, Great tribulation. Mm -hmm. then, you, then you know what? All the prophets are speaking the same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because St. Matthew said something about tribulation in it, yep. but he went more in depth into it. He said, Great tribulation. Go ahead. It says, In anguish, Go ahead. are sent as scourges for amendment. Right. But for all these things. Yeah, the, the Lord is sending all these things to get our people right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He, he all over there, the squirrel gonna jump in his damn head. He, he women, I mean, shit. He got his, she got her son over there. Man, that's what I'm saying, man, Wade over there. Chasing squirrels and shit. See? Fucking demon. And she over there at the damn car. That's what I'm saying, bro. She gotta go. You motherfucker gotta go. You ain't watching your kids, man. Trying to be pretty. Fucking squirrel jump on his motherfucking head. Fuck around with the squirrels you want to. Yeah, that's go right. Ahead. You think shit is shit, too. Go ahead. It says, but for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness. Right, no matter how bad it gets, Jake gonna still continue to be wicked. You know the elites, you know what I'm saying? You know they gonna continue to be wicked. Mm -hmm. But Jake, two-thirds, they gonna continue to be wicked. It's gonna be a whole lot of death and destruction going on. And Jake's still gonna be tripping. Yep. Go ahead. It says, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right, scourges means to whip you in shape. Go ahead. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap. Ain't that what's going on right about now? Yep. Vicious was going into like food. You ain't never you go get some food right about now for a cheap price, right? Mm -hmm. Got all these dollar stores and all that. Jay think it's peaceful now, bro. They think it's the best that it could ever be, right? Yep. Go ahead. But Vic, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth. Right. That they that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. Right, everything's all lovey dovey. Everything's going back to being normal. Shit, we can go get um, a meal for something cheap now. Mm -hmm. They think they're in good case, bro. Then what? And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. And then evils, meaning bad times, shall grow upon the earth. And that's a sign for the Lord. It's about that time. Yeah. So a storm is coming. A storm is coming. You know what I'm saying? No man safe from. We're about, we're about to wrap it up. A storm coming. We're about to wrap it up. The Lord just sent a sign, that thunder and lightning right there. We, look, we just read that. Ain't that the spirit? Yep. We just read that. The Lord shall thunder. You know? Yep. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the end of that, bro. Just a little bit more. Go ahead. It says, grow upon the earth, sword, right. famine, right. and great confusion. Don't sound like don't sound like um, peace to me. But yeah, no, so we, we can continue on, but we got things to do right about now. You no, know, plus the Lord just sent that thunder noise in the background, letting us know they're gonna wrap it up. So Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. I love the clothing, wanna give all praise once again. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Kakodash. Next double honor said they had apostles and elders of great millstone. The ones that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. Shalom. Shalom. Hit it, bro.